Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another box opening here on Meta Bros. I'm Moldy Potion. This is my bro, Metacrax. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are busting into some more of the fan art blisters. We uh, we flipped a couple cards from the last fan art pools to get some more because there are so many good cards in this mini set. I know this thing was hard to get a hold of, guys, but I'm telling you, these cards are so tech, and we're going to see them in the competitive scene for a while. Yeah, I flipped a couple of my first MetaZoo cards. Um, I've sold, you know, some of the packs, like the opened uh, theme decks, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I actually sold two Bloody Marys, um, which gave me the money to get more fan packs. So hopefully we can just keep going with this thing. Specifically, I'm looking for play sets of that uh, Water Beastie, the uh, Ultima second... Haha. Ultima Haha. Yeah. yeah. So that's my chase. You just mentioned that aliens were your chase. I need some little green men, guys. I okay. think the little green men are highly underrated right now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and um, before we actually get into cracking these packs, if you guys are interested in getting some of these these fan art bookmark tickets that actually allow you to enter the contest that's going on right now. You can go to Charles Farley's Instagram. He's actually giving away a number of these and he's trying to get them into the hand of real artists who just missed their opportunity. Here's your second chance. So go follow Charles. Uh, we'll put his link in the description below to his Instagram. He's got a couple videos up of the directions. Basically, you just draw something on a little two by three sketch card or piece of paper. You take a picture of yourself holding that card right Charles Farley on there, so he knows it's for him. Uh, I think he said subscribe to our channel, but you probably already are, so thank you. Uh, and uh, yeah, follow Charles. He's always uploading MetaZoo stuff uh, on Instagram specifically, and he's going to give away a number of these, try to get them to you, yeah. uh, just if you make some art. Now, you'll have to make a couple different art uh, pieces, because Charles art, you can do anything you want. It can be black and white. You can just do your own rendition of a card and submit it to him digitally. You will need to then make a, I think it's a physical piece for the actual contest and those are two yeah. separate art pieces one to enter charles giveaway the second to actually enter the contest and there are specifications with like formats and colors mm -hmm. yep. am i right about yes. that yes yes you have to not so much colors but you have to do it on a square uh, piece of paper it has to be perfectly square the image that you send in and then you will send in a picture of your physical art like your watercolor or your marker you'll take a picture of that send it in the metazoo with a google form that they have posted in the announcements and if they like it if you become a semi-finalist you will actually have to send in your physical piece okay now like he said in order to enter the contest you actually have to mail them one of these bookmarks that these like badass super colorful bookmarks with the bookmark on an art easel this is actually the redeemable entry to the contest that's what charles is giving away he's trying to help you guys you know i know a lot of you wanted to enter the contest and you didn't realize that this is how you did it so you get the bookmark you send it into them you also send them a picture of your physical piece if they like it they will actually stamp your bookmark with like a semi-finalist or finalist stamp and then they'll send it back to you so you're not going to lose your bookmark page you're just going to actually Actually lose the physical piece if you're a semi-finalist or a finalist. MetaZoo is going to take all of those and they actually own the rights to them because they're going to do this again and turn them into cards. They might even hire you as an artist if you do good enough. That's how Isaac showed up here. Wow. Yep. So glad to have Isaac. I'm yes. so glad you entered, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, last thing before we actually get into cracking the packs, if you guys are noticing, there is a special summer squonk playmat that we have had made. It's from the Chibi Playground. This was just my favorite character in that piece so I zoomed in on it upscaled it you know sharpened it a bit and now we have these playmats available if you like one you can either comment down below or find us on Instagram our links are also in the description below and uh, yeah we can get one of these to you also if you happen to join our patreon we will always give you that month's contribution towards a playmat yes. so you get a little discount mm -hmm. um, and big shout out to Immortal Workshop you know you've hooked us up a couple times with cool stuff and uh, we got one of these in the mail to you on the way you are in fact the first person on the face of the earth other than us and this one to have one of these yep. so uh yeah check out for that i'll send you the tracking and uh really appreciate the support Good Immortal. old chibi squonk all alone on the on the merry-go-round <laughs> <laughs> i like that you gave him a little smile like you know you see that like he's i think it's tears. more of like a squiggle i wouldn't even know if it's a smile he's, he's trying feeling a lot he's trying he's hey. feeling a lot he's on the playground yep even if he's on his own all right, all right. um i guess we just crack into these well, packs it. let's get going um are you going for anything other than the aliens um i would love a second ultima haha -ha, yes because that would complete my set and then i wouldn't have to borrow one okay um i would love a second crosswick monster because same thing that would help me to actually complete a play set of them and i think that the crosswick monster is super badass 
Okay, and I'm sorry, what does the Crosswick monster do again? That's the forest beastie. He automatically inflicts paralyze when he's flipped face up, and he automatically destroys beasties with an R cost of two. No, he automatically destroys a beastie with 40 or less LP when he's flipped, and he automatically paralyzes beasties with uh, R cost two or less. He's just a power. He has stone skin. He has 90 LP. He's just a really powerful forest beastie. Okay, cool. And how many of these? I know we opened some. Is it four per pack again? Uh, I believe we're about yes. to find out. I believe it's four cards per pack. All right, so I'm going to flip from the back to the front. First fan pack. <laughs> oh, no dude, way. Dude, the so, chase. You just did it. I'm going to do it again, that means. Yep. I am. I, I feel the need to flip this because we have a place up between the two of us, and I'm going to get more fan art packs. I think that's the whole goal. So, yes, Bloody Mary, in case you guys... Oh, oh my God. I got the... Oh, uh-huh. my God. Ulta. Dude, you hit another killer pack. And the Whoa. Flame Aura. Whoa, this, this is what like, I want immediately? You could call this a God pack. This is what everybody wants. They want a Bloody Mary, they want an Ultima Haha, and then they want that Flame Aura down there. The uh, As we're calling it, the This Is Fine Flame Aura. Because it reminds us all of the meme with the dog sitting in the fire saying, this is fine. <laughs> That's so good. This is fine. That's so good. Um, real quick, Bloody Mary, in case you don't know, is a beastie spirit. You can have two per spellbook. Contraction cost, three spirit. Life points, 40. Has a spirit trait, so cannot be targeted by attacks. Has the fear trait, so you have a 50-50 chance to actually send a beastie back to their owner's hand upon contracting Bloody Mary. Also gets an additional 10 bonus to the attack if the nighttime terror is in play. 15 bonus to the attack if the suburban terror is in play. You may contract this page at any time by saying Bloody Mary three times while looking into a mirror or mirrored surface. That's the fourth wall effect. Yep. Then the power reveal fate. Place this beastie into your chapter. If you do, target caster reveals their chapter, which basically allows you to use that fourth wall effect once again when it re-enters. Yep. And frightful encounter is the attack base damage 20. If this beastie was contracted last turn, this attack deals plus 50 damage. It's so good. She's like the new best spirit beastie in the game. You can only get her in this set. The fact that you can contract her at any time means that you can bring out a beastie. And when it enters the arena, I can bring out Bloody Mary and try to fear that beastie right back to your hand. And then when you pass turn to me, because it was your turn, right? You brought out the beastie. You pass turn back to me. I can just return her to my hand with her power. And then I'm sitting there waiting for you to bring a beastie out again so I can just fear it away. It's so nasty. And you can have two per spell book. So, yeah, Bloody Mary's incredible. I totally understand why she's the chase. And the art is freaking yeah, gorgeous. Big shout out to Irene. This is This amazing. is Isaac's sister, guys. So you just got a brother sister pack you got irene (laughs) and isaac back to back whoa okay and then we got to cover this one we'll fly through the rest but you guys need to know these are the chases and we hit them immediately so why not cover them this is the alta maha ha you can have two per spell but contraction cost four water life points 90 50 bonus the attack if the river tears in play fourth wall effect if river is active this beastie has invisible insane Mm -hmm. insane guys destroyed if river is active, when destroyed, you may place this beastie on the bottom of your spell book. This is so crazy because torrential decks burn out, you run out of cards, and having a beastie who, as long as river is active and you play river in torrential river, you're going to keep getting Ultima Haha back on the bottom of your spell book. Unless, shout out Metazoo Collector, you're clever like Smitty and you paralyze my Ultima Haha Ooh, and before you the kill text him, box. then you lose the text box and you well lose the effect. Well done, absolutely. Yes. Finally, <clears throat> purposeful chomp or poor. Purposeful chomp, mm-hmm. you know, uh, is the attack base damage 20, fourth wall effect. If there is a rice, if, if there, there is, is rice, rice yeah. in the arena or a rice field within eyesight, this attack deals plus 20 damage. Also, it's strong against water, so it's yeah. dealing plus 20 damage against water in addition to being strong against so earth. We're talking about flame. if River Terra is out, you have a four drop who has 90 LP, who is invisible, who swings for 90 and swings for 110 to other water pages. This is a chessy killer. Everybody chessy thought chessy killer. was badass. Now you've got an invisible assassin to kill your opponent's chessies. That's, That's awesome. That's absolutely incredible. All right. Your turn, bro. All right. Wow. Well, what a pack, man. Yeah. What a pack. I'm pretty stoked on that. I'm going to make some more room here while you crack in. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Nice. I got White Death. So this is the one that none of us have pulled yet. Yep. Would have loved to see this. And here it is. Uh, Let's see what it does. White Death is a beastie cap. You can have two per spell book. Costs. I'm seeing a theme here. All the hollow beasties, you can have two per spell book. Pretty interesting. Costs four frost aura, has 70 LP, gets a 35 damage bonus if it's snowing. Whenever this beastie is in the arena, 
Whenever it destroys another beastie as a result of combat, place a stripe counter on it. This beastie gains plus 10 LP and plus 10 attack damage for each stripe counter upon it. If this beastie has three or more stripe counters on it, it has first strike. If it has five or more stripe counters on it, it has destroyer. Now destroyer is actually a tiny little mushroom cloud. It's so hard to see, but it means that any damage that this beastie deals to another beastie is enough to destroy it. So this thing oh, starts like off as touch. a Yep, it starts off as a badass and then it becomes a first strike badass and then it becomes a first strike death touch badass. And we all know if you played magic, there is no more frightening combo than first strike and death touch because it will just kill your beastie first before your beastie does anything. Uh, Claw Cyclone is the attack, deals 30 base damage. So when it's snowing, it's swinging for 65 and it gets stronger every time it kills a beastie. It's pretty badass, man. I like it. I'm going to have to test it a little bit because it's just, it's always hard to tell with the bashers, like the beasties who just hit hard if they're going to fit into the into the meta. All right, now right, pause now. there. I'm just going to give them a close-up because yep. I know I'm a little more practiced at this than you are. Yeah, you have a better angle on it, too. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, I do think I pulled one of these the first time. Maybe? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I know I got two Bloody Marys and then and you got an other stuff. Ha, and, then you got a, and then you got an aura. Yeah, maybe that was it. Yeah. All right. I must have just looked him up or something. He seems familiar. I like him. Nice, another flame right. art. If I get a whole play set of these, I would be totally fine with that. What would you and consider the final one? Play set. Uh, oh, yeah. I'd probably need I'd probably need at least eight of them because then it would be eight plus the R effects. That's my personal favorite. Yeah, that is sick, the guys. Nazca the Nazca line, R. Mothman. The Mothman Nazca. Yeah, incredible. I assume we're going to see more Nazca lines in UFO. I mean, I don't know. That would be awesome. I'm just throwing that out there. But the fact that that artist who did the Nazca line again, uh, let's see, was that on it? Like, that is just, you're hitting home runs. Nicholas Gamsby. Well done, Nick. Nice job, Nicholas. Seriously. Okay, uh, next pack. Oh, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. I have one prepared. All right. Okay. Well, I have my Ulta Maha. Ha. Uh, yeah, you do. Playset. Um, I already had the Bloody Mary one. So let's just see. This is all bonus now. I don't even know what I'm going after. Right. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, yeah. I'll Sweet. take the Nazca lines. Yes. Yep, we'll Another start throwing that off. Absolutely. And... Oh, Ooh, white yeah. death. There you there go. go. Now we've got a play set. Toss that up there. Cool. Ooh. You got another Crosswick, dude. Yeah, That's what's man. up. Awesome. So Crosswick, let's take a closer look. Uh, Crosswick Monster, we've got two per spellbook. Contraction cost one neutral, three forest, life points 90. Has the trap trait, has the stone skin trait. So all damage outside of combat will be reduced to zero. 15 bonus to the attack if the forest terra or the river terra is in play. When flipped, destroy target beastie in the arena with 40 or less current LP. Sweeping bind is the attack, base damage 30. If the primary defender has an aura cost of two or less, it is automatically <laughs> paralyzed. Okay, so it's just stomping little beasties. Yeah. Like, there's no chance. It's almost like a mini death touch for it's, those 40 yeah. or less. I'm always thinking of it like a mini dragon because of the stats it has, because it's 90 LP, it's got stone skin, it has nice terror bonuses, and then the fact that it automatically inflicts whenever it attacks a beastie that has two or, or less. Attacking meaning you target a beastie that makes that beastie primary defender, or if they declare defenders, though they become the primary and they get paralyzed. It's just yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's a really awesome card. I love this little hint of blue at the bottom that's yeah. rising out of the water, but so <laughs> covered in green overall. Shout out Eggs, man. Wow. Eggs is so good. That's a beautiful piece. She did such a good job on that. Okay, and the last one of this pack is <laughs> another Bloody Mary, bro. No you are crushing this way. right now. You are absolutely I'm, crushing I'm gonna this. I'm going to go get like four more packs now. <laughs> this is too wacky. I love this. The cycle continues. Yeah. It's taken me a long time to finally list and let go of MetaZoo cards. I kept setting this stack aside because we have extra, we have excess stuff that we're never going to hit, stuff that isn't in spell books, and to finally have it. Bringing more cards home. Yeah, show that off real quick. Just oh, guys, yeah. look at the box art on this thing behind the package. It's so beautiful, man. These beastie designs are so good. Okay. Yeah. What do we got awesome. in the pack? Booster gods, what do you have for us? Mm hmm. Uh huh. Another forest aura. That's All cool. Right. Another oh, flame aura. We oh, we're getting there. Oh, yes. I got my second Ultima. Haha. Ha. That, that completes right. my playset. And I got a Bloody Mary. Dude, we are crushing this right now. This is insane. I, I guess we're doing so well, we don't really know what, you know, I, I'm not sure. What are other people pulling? I've seen like, other people get packs that are all aura. 
What about hollow? Everybody gets some hollow, right? Uh, no. Nope. Some nope. people get all non-hollows. There's a lot of non-hollow beasties in there. I think there's five hollows and five non-hollows. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Booster Gods. Yeah, we didn't even you, pray gods. to you this time, but you no. seem to be blessing us. You just so. know how devoted we are. I believe. I believe after the blessing, mm. not before. <laughs> before, that's a little, I don't know. <laughs> all right. There we go. Oh, there you go, man. Mole person. Uh -huh. This is so good. This beastie's crazy good. Oh my it's gosh. a Terra Destroyer, the and art. it's a three drop with 70 LP and Burrow. It's wow. so much fun. Yeah, the art's great. Yeah, Mole Person I'm really liking. Four per spell book, contraction cost three. Earth, life point 70. Has the Burrow trait, 25 bonus to the attack if the Earth Terra is in play. Ground Terra, right? Uh, ground. Fourth is that what that is? Wall I can't. Effect, yes, ground. This ground. beastie cannot burrow and is unburrowed if daytime is active. Dig is the power. Fatigue this beastie. Place this beastie on a terra page. This beastie has unblockable while on a terra page. If you place this beastie on a ground terra page, awaken it. Sinkhole is the attack. Base damage 25. Destroy a terra page this beastie is on. If it was an earth, a ground terra page, this attack deals plus 50 damage. Yep. Not yep, bad. Yep, yep. I like it. Pretty so tech. you can either destroy your own Terra for bonus damage, or you can destroy your opponent's Terra just to fucks with him. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and either way, he's going to have unblockable and a bonus, potentially. Yeah. I and like how many it. per spellbook? Uh, four. Yeah, that's a that's a decent yep. mid-range Earth Beastie right there. I'm a big fan. Mole person just chewing through Terra. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next card. <laughs> Ooh, the Spirit Aura. Oh, I don't think we oh, have this cool. one yet. I don't or think at least I've seen I didn't. that yet. Yeah. All right, cool. And last. Wait, so far... No hollow, right? No hollow, no, yeah. No, no. Uh, oh, we have two more. Oh. Ooh, nice. St. Elmo's Fire. That's actually a really good card. Oh, man. The art is awesome. I remember this. Shout out CT Renko. So cool. Amazing. Shout out CT Renko. Yeah. Okay, real he quick. Did a great job. St. Elmo's Fire, seven per spell, but contraction cost one neutral, one flame. Target beast or artifact loses stone skin. That page takes an additional plus 30 damage from spells that deal damage to that page until the end of turn. That's just, that's amazing. It's yeah. so useful for yep. flame. You can just get through all of those stone skin beasties. I'm so curious about like, I wonder how that would work on something like Joe Magarak or something, you know, where Dan, where when he loses LP, all players lose that much LP. If you could like set up a combo somehow with St. Elmo's Fire where you deal like a ton of, I guess he could only, he could only really take as much as Whatever his LP. Whatever his LP was, yeah, yeah, totally. All right, and last one, maybe this will be our first non holo pack. Oh, you is. got a Tesla coil. All right, so I doubted the booster gods. I said I need a blessing <laughs> before belief, and what did they do? They took away my streak. Taught you a uh -huh. lesson. All right. Uh, yeah, the Tesla coil, love this art too. Spencer Smith. So amazing. So cool. You guys are, all of you, this is so cool. I can't believe you're amateur artists. It's just perfect. Artifact, Tesla coil, three per spell book, contraction cost, two lightning, life points, 60. Shock drop is the power. Fatigue this page. Place a lightning page from your chapter into the cemetery. Target beast your artifact is dealt 10x damage, where X is the total aura cost of the page you place into the cemetery. If you place a lightning aura page, target beast your artifact is dealt 100 damage instead. Man. Ooh, wow. I know. I'm so curious. How, like, how many per spell book? Three? Yeah, I'm just curious about how that build could go. If you played extra aura, so you were planning to throw away aura to deal damage, is it 100 damage to page or caster, or is it just 100 damage oh, to target no, beastie? Oh, no, no. Beastie or artifact. Okay, that changes, yep, that yep. changes it a bit. You're not sending it to the caster. Uh, I believe it's your turn. All right. Let's go. Is it the me? All right. Okay, we're we're stacking up the Earth R's. That's pretty sweet. Well, I guess I'll lay that on top. There mm -hmm. we go. Oh, we got another one of the Moth Vision Dark R's. These are somebody said that's what Mothman sees when he's flying through the woods at night. I was like, yes, I like yes, that. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's like his predator vision, <sighs> yeah, dude. Yes, yes. Now I have one for the collection, and another Ooh, White Death. Nice. Wow, man, these packs were so good. All right, now here's a question. You know that we set a couple aside off camera, mm -hmm. but you know also, I've got Bloody Marys to get more packs. Mm -hmm. Do I grab those packs right now and we break a couple more open? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Why not? Why We're not? We're on a roll right now. Okay. Yep. Let's see. Naruto <laughs> hand symbols thanking the uh -huh. booster gods mm -hmm. for what they've done for us today. Yeah. I mean, thank you. <laughs> sure. You're out there. Such a prick. Listen to the booster gods. Somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. I think they'd understand it. 
I wouldn't want someone to believe in me if I didn't show myself and they were just supposed to assume some endless faith without miracles actually occurring in their face. But then when they finally ask or acknowledge it's all taken away, I just get a little confused. No, no, that's pretty standard God ask. <laughs> that's what they all kind of ask. Um, all right. Okay. Here we are. Last pack for both of us. Let's see what we get. If we could nail another Bloody Mary, I would be so excited. It means we could do this exact same thing all over again. All right, Booster Gods. Please. <laughs> Simple, <laughs> effective. Simple hey, and effective. I'll take it, man. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, right. dude. And... Dude. Dude. Maybe, dude, bro. Maybe this I, is crazy. Maybe I do believe. <laughs> <laughs> what is even happening right now? This is, this is, Whoa. The spoils of loyalty. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. This is the best pack yet. Uh, That's a perfect pack. That's a flawless, perfect pack right there. I'm fine. <laughs> Everything wow. is fine. Wow. Brilliant, dude. Yeah. Incredible. Thank you, Booster. Gods. Another moth vision. All right. Another earth moth. Okay. Another flame aura oh and my a goodness. forest aura. So there we go, boys. So that's We've more seen... of a standard pack, right? Yep, yep. that's okay. a full aura pack right there. A I lot see. of people have gotten that. So we did just experience something pretty special here. Yeah, we did. And uh, hopefully, if the packs are still out there and they haven't gone up in price too much, we can trade a few of these Bloody Marys in for a few more packs. Let's hope so. That's the idea. Let's hope so. Um, all right, guys. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, for liking, for commenting, for subscribing. Um, oh, if you happen to be shopping at Channel Fireball and you want to support us, you could use the code Metabros with a Z at checkout. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help us out. Also, if you want to get some of these uh, tickets into the art contest, the person to talk to is Charles Farley. He is having his own mini contest. Like we said in the beginning, you submit your original art on a two by three sketch card or piece of paper with an image of yourself to Charles. He's going to pick the winners. He'll figure it out. We'll probably announce him on this channel just to make it easier in case, you know, you miss it. But follow Charles. Give him a like. He's putting up content and he's trying to help people like us experience more Metazoo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, if you want to support us and the channel directly, you can go to patreon.com backslash metabros with a Z. We do art giveaways and merch giveaways at the end of every month. Help you guys build your decks, play on TTS, all kinds of fun stuff. Huge shout out to our patrons. We love you guys so much. Love you guys so much. And can't wait to see some of you down in Texas. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah you're going. I'm staying. But Dude, did you see the pseudo environment post that Mike made this morning? No. Uh, it was a fucking farmhouse. It was built. It was real. So the pseudo environments that Mike talked about last year in the podcast yeah. where he was like, yes, no, we're going to make it that you walk in and there's actually like a farm or actually a forest or whatever. They're doing that for Caster Cup. They are building full on physical environments that the top cut, whatever it is, the 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 second day, anybody who makes it to the second day is going to be playing Blitz in those environments. That's amazing. It's crazy. I can't believe it's actually happening. This We're is here. Too cool. All right, guys. Thank you once again. And uh, yeah, we will see you very soon, uh, most likely tomorrow. Yes. On Meta Bros. Later, guys. Later, everybody.